Hey, good evening everybody. Lawrence Michael, Operations Manager for Air Quality Remediation. Uh, making a end of the project video. I, on our last post, uh, when we were doing uh, commercial exhaust duct cleaning, I had alluded to that we were doing a basement remediation project, and I thought that I had made a first day walkthrough of this project, but I, I, either I didn't or the video didn't save, or uh, I'm not sure, I'm not a IT specialist, so I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. Um, I did wanna at least show what the basement looked like when we were all done because it was a huge transformation. I know it won't have the full impact because you guys haven't seen what it looked like before, but you can at least see what it looks like after when we're done. So as we pan around here, we can see that the drywall was affected with mold growth. So we cut up the drywall uh, four feet up and then all the wood studs and concrete foundation walls got treated and encapsulated. So those of you that have seen our videos before, uh, treating is wire brushing or wire grinding uh, to get big uh, spores off of a surface. Obviously after we build a containment and set up negative air pressure, uh, once the wire brushing or wire grinding is done, every surface gets HEPA vacuumed, then it gets sanitized, so wiped down with an antimicrobial solution, and then encapsulated with an antimicrobial sealer, like you see on the floor, or the uh, concrete foundation and the wood studs and sill plates here. And more here. So this is a partially finished basement. So the finished portion of the basement, all the drywall got cut four feet up and all the studs treated like we talked about. This flooring, um, when we started the job, there was so much stuff inside the basement. Um, I, there was really a walkway for you to walk through the basement, but that was it. The rest was just full of stuff that was contaminated with mold growth, so it all had to go. So when we first got here, you couldn't even see the floor. Uh, there was just so much stuff on it. There was uh, cardboard boxes that were actually stuck to the floor that needed to be scraped off. Uh, all this moldy cardboard and moldy wood that was just sitting on the floor uh, when it got wet. So for the floor to look this good, I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. Like I said, you guys didn't see it. I wish, I wish you did. I wish I had made a video so you could see the full transformation. Because this basement, like I said, was full of stuff. Uh, there was mold on all the drywall, four feet up. Uh, there was even a little bit of mold on the drywall ceiling, but because it hadn't rooted into the drywall, we were able to treat it and salvage it. Uh, so it still gets the same process, wire brushing, HEPA vacuuming, sanitizing, and encapsulation with uh, the antimicrobial sealer. So it gets the same process as all the wood joists and the foundation walls. We're just able to salvage it. Uh, we always try to save the homeowner as much money as we can on the putback, so putting back new drywall, spackle, sand, paint, new flooring, things like that. As much as we can salvage, we try to do that just to save the customer uh, money overall on the entire project. So this floor, like I said, looks immaculate. I'm real happy with the way it turned out. Up the steps was carpeting. Uh, there was there was no saving the carpet that was on this steps. Uh, the carpeting, the carpet padding, the carpet tack strips, none of that was salvageable. Uh, it, it had terrible odors from uh, cats and cat urine and, and feces, and uh, it, it was terrible. So there was no salvaging it, so we just pulled that up. Uh, the steps got the same exact treatment because it was affected with mold growth as well. Then we go into the unfinished portion of the basement. This area was completely full of stuff too. Uh, same thing, you can barely see the floor because there were so many items in here. Same thing in here, uh, boxes and crates and things like that were all just sitting on the ground in water. So it was the same process, we had to scrape everything off the floor and then treat the concrete floor as well. So it, it bugs me that you guys didn't see the before video of this place because there was just so much stuff in here and it, it's a huge transformation. It's a complete 180. The homeowners will be able to sell the house now. You know, a home inspector won't have any issues down here. We do have our drywall guy coming in to put new drywall up. As I stated in the last video for drywall, spackling, sanding, painting, tiling, grout cleaning, carpet cleaning, uh, we use Lamont Hampton from Hampton Enterprises. So he's gonna come in, uh, put up new drywall, spackle, sand, and paint. But other than that, everything's about done. Um, 
everything in this area, both unfinished side and finished side, got uh, decontaminated. So HEPA vacuumed and sanitized on all the items, every surface. Uh, from top to bottom, all the walls, everything gets HEPA vacuumed and sanitized for that decontamination process. We also fog everything, and then on the floors we mop our way out. So this will be the last day. I'm getting ready to go out. I'm just going to mop the floor, and then I'll be out of here. I just wanted to give you guys a look at what we had going on. One other thing, uh, over here we did find when we cut this drywall out that there was a big crack in the foundation that goes all the way from this window, almost all the way down to the floor. So we did find that when we cut the drywall out at four feet, so we extended it all the way up so that uh, before the drywall gets put back, we can have a basement waterproofing company come in and fix this crack in the foundation, so that way it won't ever cause any water incursion issues in the future. And then Lamont Hampton from Hampton Enterprises will be able to come in and put his, his new drywall up. Every job that we do gets 100% effort. Uh, like we've talked about before, we're an ethical and honest company. Everything we do is top notch, but we always try to go the extra mile as well. So all of the lights in here, in both the finished basement and unfinished basement, half of them were out, a lot of them were missing. We just went and installed all new lights throughout the entire basement. That wasn't in our contract, we didn't have to do that. Uh, that was just something that we wanted to do. Uh, it helps the basement look better. It allows the customer to see what we did better. It's just that extra step that we always do on our projects so that way it, it, it sets us apart from other companies that are doing uh, remediation work as well. All these are photo albums here. Um, all the photo albums got decontaminated as well. So a lot of times when homeowners have things of intrinsic value or numismatic value to them, we, we try our best to salvage them, so photo albums, wedding dresses, you know, special items that was given to them by their parents or grandparents, things like that. We, we try our best to salvage those items if we can. So being able to give those items back to the homeowner when they thought they were uh, trash, they thought they had to be disposed of is a great feeling. Um, we'll try to find a basement waterproofing company for that crack in the foundation. We hooked the homeowner up with Lamont Hampton for the drywall. Um, there is one other thing over here, I guess. <clears throat> this hot water heater is pretty new. It's only a year or two old. And this weep valve that's supposed to open and, re and release pressure as the hot water heater builds up pressure, that's what it's supposed to do but there's no tray underneath of it, and that tray doesn't have any PVC piping that goes to you know, another drain, like uh, the air conditioning unit drain here for the condensate drain. So there's nowhere for the water to go, it just goes out onto the floor. So obviously water sitting on the floor is gonna cause the same exact mold issue that we just ran into. So on top of that, um, we're gonna try to find we're gonna, we're gonna hook up the homeowner with uh, Kelly Albanese from Pipe Pros Jetting and Plumbing. I'm sure they'll be able to come in and put a tray under this hot water heater, hook up the PVC piping to the condensate line drain for the air conditioning unit. That way they don't have to worry about any water incursion issues in the future. Um, so other than that, that's about it. I just wanted to show you how great this basement looks, uh, how much of a transformation it was. Uh, as always, show you guys everything that we do, full transparency, explain our above and beyond approach, how we're always doing something extra to set ourselves apart. So, as always, with my you know closings that I do in every video, I thank everybody for watching. If anybody has any indoor air quality concerns, including mold remediation, lead abatement, asbestos abatement, commercial duct cleaning, air conditioning unit cleanings, water and fire damage, odor control, Definitely give us a call. Check us out on all of our social media platforms. We're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and I appreciate your time, and we'll, we'll see you on the next video.